how do customers find you? And, you know, are people, you know, they're not auditioning them. You know, you're, you're, like you said, you're way up in the, you know, uh, upper Pacific Northwest. You know, you're not, in you know, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, how do people, how are people hearing these before they're, they buy them or are they? And um, like I said, how are people finding you? How does that all work? I've been in this for a long time now. Uh, so there's, there's a pretty extensive word of mouth network. Uh, people that are curious about me can go online and start digging around and they'll find a wealth of information. Um, and um, I would say, you know, I mean, people will hear them at friends, they'll hear them at shows. Uh, I have people that will come here to audition. I, I, I mean, people will, it's, until COVID, it wasn't that hard to hop on a plane and fly here. And it is, you know, a beautiful vacation area. So, you know, I've had people, uh, you know, uh, what was it last, last summer, a, a client came up from New Orleans. He just flew up just to do the audition and turn it into a vacation. I've had people do that on a regular basis. Uh, but I'd say about maybe as much as 40% of my clientele have never heard my speakers until they get them delivered to their door. Really? Yeah. And uh, I'm very proud of that, you know, because it's, uh, it's just based on my reputation and, and reading about what the speakers do, talking with me. I mean, I really spend a lot of time with each client. Is this the right speaker for you? If, if I don't think it's the right speaker, I'll tell you, you know, you, you know this is, this is going to work for you. You want to look at maybe look at this company or that, you know, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's got a very good track record with that. And uh, I'm very proud of that aspect with the marketing, you know, and, uh, you know, but, and, and the shows, the shows are really helpful. Um, because right. I'll often get someone who will call up and say, you know, I heard your speakers at Rocky Mountain five years ago, and I just, you know, couldn't get them out of my mind. I'm ready to pull the trigger. Let's talk. Uh, and uh, so that's 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 a great way for people to hear hear audio, and the audio shows is not just about the gear either. Uh, you know these the consumer audio shows that we have in the United States are are wonderful because you get to meet the maker, actually you know face to face, you know, and that uh, I, I I can't tell you how many times I've had people say how important that is you know, and how much they get just from that. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you know, to, to be able to do that is really very valuable. So I think the shows are going to continue. Um, not this year, hopefully next year, but it, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's part of the landscape here. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think it's extremely important for people to, you know, th that, that advantage of the show to, to meet the, the maker, like you said, is extremely important. Um, you know, if I would be lying to, if I said that the, you know, part of my motivation for doing these interviews wasn't to be able to offer that to people during this time, right? right. You know, to be able to, you know, reach out to the people like you that I know in the industry that aren't at shows, uh, aren't going to be for the, you know, at least the next handful of months. And allow them to connect with people on a different level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know when I talk to people on the phone, that's, that's one level, right? That's better than email, um, you know, by a long shot, you know, when I can actually really dive in and respond to them and I can hear the tone of their voice. Um, but actually meeting the people, um, hearing about their inspirations and, you know, starting a real, I mean, I'm going to say a relationship with these people uh, yeah. before, you you buy because like you said you know you're talking to these people multiple times on the phone um and it's an extremely valuable experience what's kept me in this business all these years and and has inspired me has been have been those relationships and what that's built is community and it's, there's there's a, this the audio community is really is really pretty cool and it's it's not it's it's among the manufacturers, you know, there's, there's a community there and it extends into the people, the audiophile network, the people that just love music. And there's this whole community. There is a more of a sense of community in this industry than any of the other industries. And I've been in a few uh, and 
you know, I've thought about why that is. And, and you know, you mentioned, you know, it's, there's, it's, it's around music, right? So of course we're buying products and we're there to, you know, we're making products and people buying the products, but there's an emotional connection to the music. We're all there for, for the music. And I think that sort of increases that level of community in this industry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's it. There, there is, uh, it is that emotional connection, that love of music, you know, it's, it's, it's something that transcends our, our personal, you know, goals, our personal ego goals that transcends money. It's not like, you know, it's not like none of these things are not important. They're all part of it, but the underlying thread is this, this love of music and that, that, that love of music is emotionally based. And so you get a lot of people that all love music. There is an emotional connection. It's a community. And uh, I think it's very important uh, for us to honor that. And I think we need to, because this, the COVID is putting such a stress on, on this community in so many ways. Um, I mean, it's just the artists, uh, I can't imagine, you know, what they're going through because, you know, artists nowadays, they don't make any money off the recordings per se. You yeah, know, what is that, like point not, zero zero seven cents big, per stream or something? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and I'm not talking about your Taylor Swifts or that, but I'm right, talking about right. you know, you're, 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 and not even the indie bands, but people in even mid level, they're pretty big, but you know, what, you know, they make their money selling merchandise, CDs, etc. at shows, you know, and they perform, the, they make money at the shows from the venue itself, but then the the merchandise is huge. If they're not performing, if they're not they're not making any money. How do they survive? We're, then this is, a, this is a source of our music. You know, so this is a tough time. And then for the manufacturers, I mean, there are so many of, of them building this incredible gear. Um, it's, and most of these guys have very small margins. You know, they're really, nobody's getting rich over this. You know? right. And, and, you know, they're, they're, they're just, they're just, going to get hit really hard here i mean if it goes on for very long and the economic it, it's tough and we can't you know and the shows the shows i mean the show promoters the guys that were making a living off of this they're they're just they're just uh they're just decimated fortunately most of the show promoters it's like a part-time thing a retirement thing or whatever you know they're not so they're they're able to weather it, survive, and be fair to all the people involved. Uh, but the, uh, the, the, the whole industry, this whole community is being hit very hard uh, by COVID. And I think we all have to be very supportive because we could come out of the other end of this with uh, so many artists just saying, I'm done. You know, so many manufacturers of really great gear saying, I'm done, you know. And it just, we really need to be supportive, everybody in the community um, and understand yeah. how tough it is. I think I can't think of a better uh, way to end or thing to end on, which is, you know, not the message of, you know, it's hard and, and there might be some hard times here, but the message of support the community, right? You know, support your musicians, support yeah. your uh, manufacturers, you know, support your local record shops, um, you know, and, you know, look them up on, you know, PayPal now, everybody's doing streams, you know, do what you can to support these people so that, you know, they know they're there. It keeps everybody's mental health up. Uh, and then once we come out the other side, you know, though they can come out the other side. So, you yeah. know, support, like you said, it's the source material without music, you know, you'd have nothing to buy on those speakers. So um, yeah, support the communities that, you know, uh, you know, give us what we love. Uh, I think that's a great way to end. Yeah. Great. All right. Thanks Lou. Well, thank you so much, Nicholas. It's been a pleasure as always.